I made a statement last week that I have to come back to to bring clarification to. Uh, so it's a, a bit of a hermeneutical uh, analysis about retirement uh, because I said, I don't remember I said it in all the services, but uh, I talked about how uh, I couldn't find the word retirement in the scriptures. Did I say that in this service? Yes, yes thank you. Okay. Uh, and so being the type A church that you are, uh, <laughs> if I said this in California, everybody, everybody would just go like, hey, that's cool. Hey. Uh, here it's like, oh, really? I have to read the entire Old Testament to see if I can you know, find that word. So Monday morning when I got to church and uh, fired up my email, this is, it's an, it's an interesting church to, to pastor. So I got a bunch of emails, hey, hey, what about Numbers chapter 8 verses 25 and following? So, so I had to stop Monday morning and do a little uh, lexical analysis, etymolo etymological analysis of the meaning of retirement in Hebrew. Um, so anyway, just as a side note, for any, are you interested at all? Or am I just, okay, yeah. I found one you found one too? Okay, the sermon's for you too, so. We get lots of friends. So uh, in Numbers chapter uh, 8, verses 25 and following, not, this, is, this is not my sermon, just extra stuff. Um, it, it talks about the retirement of a priest. And they retired at 50. So I'm six years past the time when it's supposed to happen. So, uh, but, but in Mosaic law, they had to retire by 50. Uh, and, it, and it says retire. Uh, the only problem is uh, it doesn't say that in all the translations. So if you have like the New American Standard, the NIV, uh, in that situation, it says retirement. To put the Hebrew word shuv, into colloquial English, so we can understand what it is they meant. Uh, the temptation is to take Western thinking and to read it back into Semitic thinking, which is a major hermeneutical no-no. Uh, so what you have to do is take that word retire. It only occurs that one time in the Old Testament, by the way, in that fashion. Uh, the word shuv uh, in Hebrew really means to cease something, to return. Cease something and return to something else. That's what it literally means. It doesn't mean retire. That's put for you, an English person, to understand the concept but that's not what the Hebrew word means. So I'm going with the inspired text at this time, which is Hebrew. You don't sound excited. Uh, and it means to see something and return back to something. So uh, if you study Numbers chapter 8, verses 25 and following, when it talks about a priest uh, returning back to something, he's, he's, there's different stratifications in priestly duties, uh, really hard fat physical duties of uh, sacrificing all the animals, handling all the animals, all that that took. Uh, those were given to the younger man. The older priest uh, had lesser duties that were not as physically taxing because I guess after 50, it's all over for you. So um, so when it said that he must retire, uh, in other translations like the King James, which is a better translation, it says uh, to, uh, he will cease and return. Uh, and what the return is going back to lesser priestly duties, but you're still working as a priest. Again, supports my point that the scriptures do not substantiate the concept of retirement. I don't know how you feel about this. You're hanging your, one guy told me, my, I've been focused on that for my whole life. <laughs> yeah, and we're praying for him because, yeah, you, as a Christian, you're just not going to retire, right? Only three people are with me. So pray about that interpretation. It's right. I know it is. I studied the, the lexical meaning of the word shoop. So anyway, any questions? So we're good? All right. Wasn't that exciting? It was exciting. Uh, now on to Luke chapter one.